Let's describe how the process of meiosis results in haploid cells. This would be a four mark question. I think we've done some questions before on mitosis, but I don't think we've done much on meiosis yet. So let's just think about what meiosis is. Meiosis is the type of cell division that produces gametes or sex cells, which are haploid. Haploid means they have single chromosomes. So the chromosomes will not be in pairs. They'll be single chromosomes. So those cells will have half of the amount of DNA compared to a body cell. Okay, so how do we get there? How does meiosis make these cells haploid? Well, if we start at the beginning of the story, first thing, during interphase, just like with mitosis, the DNA is replicated. So even though we want haploid cells, we are still gonna replicate the DNA initially in interphase. Now remember, once the DNA is replicated, we will draw the chromosomes like this because after replication, each chromosome will consist of two sister chromatids and you'll have double the amount of DNA in the cell. Okay, next thing to say, with meiosis, after interphase, when you actually go into cell division, you have two rounds of cell division. With mitosis, the cell only divides once, whereas with meiosis, you've got two rounds of division. Now, the first division separates homologous pairs of chromosomes, which is what's going to half the chromosome number and mean that the daughter cells only have one chromosome from each pair. And um, the second division is like mitosis, to be honest. The second division separates the sister chromatids. Let me just do us some quick diagrams just to help you with that. So the first division, what we're doing there if you imagine this is the equator of the cell, the first division is going to separate the pairs of chromosomes. So each of these chromosomes will be pulled to the opposite pole. And what we say is we are separating homologous pairs. That's the stage that will actually make the daughter cells haploid. This stage is just like mitosis. So this stage, which is the second division, the chromosomes line up on the equator individually and we're just gonna separate the sister chromatids. So the sister chromatids get pulled to opposite poles, just like with mitosis. Um, so another possible marking point, you're gonna produce four daughter cells or four nuclei, as opposed to mitosis, where we only have one division, so we only produce two daughter cells or two nuclei. And remember, mitosis makes diploid cells Whereas meiosis, because of that extra division, where we've separated the homologous chromosomes, we've got our haploid cells. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the link in the description below to join my biology course.